You might not be aware of this, but Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, is the only city in the world that borders two sovereign states, Austria and Hungary. Many Slovaks go to Austria in a town called Kitze to make food shopping, and I'm really curious to understand why. Since I live close to the Austrian border, in this video I decided to make a comparison between food shopping in Slovakia and food shopping in Austria. I want to try to buy the same products and I'm really curious to make a comparison among them, comparing especially prices, but also seeing if I can find the same products and, if possible, to check if they have the same ingredients. Stick until the end of this video to see the results and let me know in the comments below what you think about this comparison, if you were surprised at all or if you learned something new. Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time or welcome back if you are already a subscriber. For this video I decided to go to Lidl, but if you will like it I might do more comparison with other supermarkets and I might also do a comparison between food shopping in Slovakia and food shopping across the Hungarian border. That's my list, just to have an idea of what to buy more or less. I want to buy things that we normally eat and different kinds of food to cover most common foods that people would buy. First of all, we are gonna get some bananas, deciding whether to have normal ones or bio. We cannot miss the pretzel for sure. I wanna get <laughs> wait. Yeah. I also want to get these that I'm sure I will find also in Slovakia so I can make a comparison and they should be 9.45 per kilo. Of course, there is a bit of language barrier, but I hope I can make this correctly. I'm getting pistachios. We are choosing which vegan product to buy. Uh, I was planning to buy at least one vegan product and here we have a big choice. I hope we will have the same in Lidl in Slovakia and now we decided to go for the nuggets actually as they are in discount for 115 this package I was not planning to get Sheva Chichi but when I saw this I couldn't help it I don't know if we will find this in Lidl in uh, Bratislava, but we found two Italiano products, porchetta and uh, prosciutto cotto, ham. This is the Lidl Italian brand, so we decided why not, and we took them. Choosing some legumes now. I get some olives. We also need some gluten-free uh, bread. We only found this tree here and it's 2 19 per package. We just finished the food shopping in Kitze in Austria, Lidl. It took a while simply because we realized that of course we didn't have the Lidl application valid for Austria. So we did everything in the shop so that we could apply the discounts. Otherwise, the comparison wouldn't really work because in Slovakia, in Lidl, we have the card and the application to have discounts. So now we are in the car and we are going back to Bratislava. We will go to Lidl there and then we will make our comparison. Here we are, second food shopping of the day, Lidl in Bratislava. Getting our ciocciolietki from Lidl in Bratislava as well. Those seem to be fine and in this case we have 279 for 250 grams. I got also two baguettes. There was not the bigger one so I got two, more or less it should be the same weight. I'm also going for those bio banani uh, for 1.99 per kilo. I don't remember how much it was there in Austria, but we will compare later. 
I'm getting olives in Slovakia as well. Uh, I have a very short memory. I also don't remember how much they were, but let's see later. It seems that here we have less vegan products, but I decided to get exactly the same from the Mondo i Nugget, Nuggetki, so Nuggets. And if I'm not wrong, in this case, I remember the price and it should be more expensive here. But they were on discount in Austria. Here we have a bit more options of gluten-free bread. It's different, so I'm trying to compare something which has similar price or similar kind of bread. We are back home, finally. That's our food shopping. The baguette is the division between Austrian one and Slovak food shopping. I'm gonna tell you the prices of both, but first I wanna say that we didn't find exactly the same products in the two supermarkets. Most of them are the same or very similar, but for some of them there are some changes. In Slovakia, we spent 46 euros 95 cents, included water that you cannot see here, while in Austria we spent 50 euros 97 cents. However, the total amount of products that we bought is 19 like different items in Slovakia and 24 in Austria. Now we are gonna check the prices of products and see which one of them is more convenient than the other. Those are the two bills. As I said, some things are different. For example, in Slovakia we bought uh, water which we didn't in Austria but in Austria overall we bought more items. Let's finally make a comparison. I made some calculations because it was difficult to compare the two food shoppings due to the differences in prices mainly. Let's start from the chicken because I urgently want to put it back in the fridge. Both of them were 8 euro 50 per kilo but my impression is that the Slovak one, there is this one looks a bit better in terms of quality compared to the Austrian one looks better in my opinion. So the Slovak one uh, just simply looks better, but I'm not an expert. So feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Then I want to compare beans because that's a very basic food. And I think like the price should be the same in the if in the two countries you earn the same money or it should be less in the country where the salary is lower while that's not the case because we have the same exact weight here and we have 79 cents in Slovakia and 59 cents in Austria and the same is valid for green olives as you can see here the products are the same and we have 1 euros 49 for the ones in Slovakia and 1 euro 19 for the one in Austria. Then I want to compare another basic food, fruit in this case, bananas. We bought bananas uh, organic both in Austria and in Slovakia and the size is different so I'm gonna tell you the price per kilos. In Slovakia it was 1 euro 99 and in Austria it was 1 euro 83 cents. Now I want to compare two Italian products Parmigiano Reggiano. They are both 24 months old. This one is the Slovak and this one is the Austrian one. And the one I bought in Slovakia was 4 euros 79 cents. And the one I bought in Austria was 4 euros 39 cents. And the size is the same. They are both 200 grams. Now I want to compare some dried fruit. We bought pistachios. This one from Slovakia and this one from Austria. It may seem like they are different in size, but they are actually the same. They are both 250 grams. And the Slovak ones were 4 euros and 15 cents, while the Austrian ones were 3 euros 74 cents. So also in this case, Austria is winning considering the size slash price. I also want to compare bread because that's also one of the basic food that people eat. Unfortunately, I couldn't find exactly the same. So this one is for Austria and this one is from Slovakia. This one was a few cents more. So the Austrian one was 89 cents while the Slovak one was 84 cents. And this one weighed a little bit more. So we can say the Slovak one is slightly cheaper, but 
the difference is like mine or maybe 20 cents considering the weight and the price as some people might be gluten intolerant we also bought gluten-free bread and i want to compare the two prices and also the choice in this case there was uh, more choice in uh, slovakia it was like around three products while there was only this one in austria and in this case we paid less for the slovak one two euros and zero nine cents two euros 19 cents i want to compare blueberries so cicerietki are the slovak ones and uh, these ones are the austrian ones uh, as you can see, the Slovak ones are a bit more, 250 grams, and the price was 2 euros and 79, while those ones were on sale, if I'm not wrong, and it was 1 euro 69. However, like if I look at them, they are much bigger. It seems better quality, or like, I don't know, they look better. These ones are also nice, but they are much smaller, especially if you try to see inside. Uh, so yes, they are more they are more expensive, which makes sense because they are more. But uh, in my opinion, in this case, the Austrian one looks better. I think it's time to run some conclusions to this video. Here on this paper, I try to sum up only the things that were more similar to make it more fair towards both supermarkets and both countries. And I calculated the total amount, not of the two shoppings that I said before, but only of those items and the total was 25 euros and 6 cents for slovakia and 23 euros and 03 cents for austria now the real conclusion is which one is more convenient so i'd say more or less the prices are the same it's also very difficult to compare because the sizes are different some brands are different some products are on sale in one country and maybe not on the other i would say that on average the price is pretty similar so there is not really like a huge difference and that is a big issue so i checked on some website the average salaries in the two countries and to be a bit fairer since in bratislava we are in the capital for slovakia i checked the average salary of bratislava and here is the nice result that i found the average salary per year in bratislava is around 24,000 euros while the average salary in Austria per year is more than double, is 50,000 euros per year, around 50,000 euros per year. So if you think about the purchasing power, there is no comparison here in Austria, is much, much higher compared to Slovakia. And that is not very good for people that live and work in Slovakia. So to conclude this video, I wanted to make a realistic comparison about food shopping in the two countries. I hope you found it interesting, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up to this video, consider subscribing to my channel, that would really, really help me, and see you next time, bye!